Record. So can you tell me what is the basic difference between similarity and congruency? Uh, congruence is exactly same, like equal sides, equal angles. So congruence is exactly that it same. Can overlap. So we can say overlap. it can overlap. Okay. Neil, what about you? Would like to add? What is congruency? Congruency is like when you when you compare the angles and the size of a triangle. So comparison is okay, but what is going to happen in that? Right. They are going to be same. Oh, yes, see. Okay. yes or no? Yes. They are going to be same. The symbol for congruency is this. Okay. This is a symbol of congruency. Since we are talking about similarity and congruency of triangle in the chapter, so I'm going to take one example to understand what does it mean. To be congruent. So when we say the two triangles are congruent, okay, so if the two triangles are congruent, then the sides are also equal and angles are also equal. Let's say this is ABC, this is PQR. So in this case, AB. So let's say uh, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle QPR. Now remember this A is congruent to Q, the corresponding parts. B is corresponding to P and C is corresponding to R. So in this case, AB will be equals to QP. So AB will be equals to QP. QP. Okay. Now AC will be equals to QR. AC is over here. Can you see that in the diagram? And will be equals to QR. Yes. So I'm just highlighting with the red color over here. Okay. And similarly, third side BC will be equals to PR. So this corresponding thing should be very important. And we are learning the word corresponding from class seventh onwards. I hope you are able to recall. Angle A equals to angle P. Angle B equals to angle Q. Sorry, not angle A is not equal to angle P. Angle A is equal to angle Q. Very good. Angle B is equal to angle P. Okay. And angle C is equal to angle R. R. I hope it is making sense for congruency. Okay. Yes. Now, please take a screenshot of this thing quickly so that I can discuss how congruency is different from similarity. In the meantime, Neil, can you tell me what is the difference between congruency and similarity? So the congruency is like exactly the same, but the similarity is like the same type of shape. Kana would like to tell me uh, what so is similarity the... will be uh, it will look same but they are not exactly same like some angles are different or sides equal or sides are same yeah, sides are equal or angles are different right. so you are trying to say sometimes angles are same 
sides are not same sometimes sides are same yes. and it's not same yes. neel do you agree with this thing yeah neel uh, do you agree yes sir i don't you don't let me tell you with an example similarity is when two things look alike okay when we say look alike for example duplicate okay have you seen duplicates of actor actress isn't it yes. they look alike they look similar but they are not exactly same make sense yes yes now have you seen any miniature of anything model something like that yes sir. model of some yes. building model of taj yes. mahal isn't it what does the model do yes let's say this big is the actual building so model will do model will be the, this much only but yes when we are looking at the model when we are looking at the model it will look like it if we are looking at the original image yes or no yes sir you yes. must have gone to some amusement parks or you must have gone to some museums where they keep duplicate or things of other things like buildings or something like that have you visited any museum like that where they keep models of a bigger like for example eiffel tower or taj mahal something yes. like that so remember we are always talking about two things angles and sides now what do you think in case of similarity which one would be same angles or side actually angles are always equal till the point the angles are not same it will not look like the original person isn't it if the building is like this yes the miniature should also be little bit tilted na that yes. angle should be same na yes. are you getting my point yes. sides are proportional so sides are proportional what do you mean by proportional that means ratio something ratio ratio very good ratio that means if i am decreasing this length by 2 from That's here to here dividing by 2 then this length should also be divided by 2 understood yes sir yes basically all the aspects of the figure should be exactly same proportional i hope it is clear now this is the most important concept in similarity angles are always equal just the way it is in congruency but sides are proportional sides can be equal also okay in that case what is the proportion what is the ratio 1 is to very good 1 is to 1 in that case the ratio is 1 is to 1 anyway now let me take one example just the way we did side yeah so two triangles i'm going to make another triangle i'm going to make a bigger understood 
now these two are similar so this is the sign for similar so similarity sign is this wavy line okay so let's say a b c is similar to p q r so if a b c is similar to triangle p q r same corresponding rule will apply first thing we can learn is angle a is equals to angle p angle b is equals to angle q angle c equals to angle r that's the first thing angles are equal as i told you earlier angles are equal yes or no yes now sides are proportional so we will write a b proportionate to p q b c proportionate to q r and a c proportionate to p r can you see i'm taking a b then a b and p q is it clear yes in the corresponding manner and they all will be equals to some ratio let's say k is to 1 remember k is to 1 yes 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 sir okay anyway so this is the major thing which we are going to understand and use it first of all so as soon as so what is the important learning you should take away as soon as the two triangles are similar their angles and will equal. be equal and, and sides will be proportional is it clear yes yes so this is just an introduction of this topic you can take a screenshot later on you can copy okay and uh, we will do some questions now